I can't believe we're sitting here with the godfather of ice wine, if you can believe it, at the Niagara Ice Wine Festival. And uh, man, we have tasted some amazing ice wines. Thank you, Donald. It's a pleasure <laughs> to <laughs> join you. Donald Zeraldo. Uh, it's always fun to join you guys. Last time I was at the film festival, and I was watching the interview all these famous celebrities and that's right. And now you're yeah. on our couch. Uh, we're interviewing another famous celebrity, you, celebrity so in the wine industry. <laughs> <laughs> so, so tell us, um, how did you come up with the concept of ice wine, and how did you know that it was going to work so well? Well, well? well, it was not our invention. The Germans invented it back in the mid 1700s, right. and then my partner Carl Kaiser at Enniskillen, who was really the genius behind ice wine, came up with this crazy idea in 1983. And he said to me, Donald, you know, I'm going to leave those grapes out there and I'm going to let them freeze. And, and I said, are you nuts? Who's going to pick them? <laughs> so he did that. But what was curious, this, and I forget the date, December 3rd, 1983, he came back and it snowed the night before. And he said, Donald, I told you not to pick those grapes. I said, God, I didn't pick them. I thought you picked them. No. And he said, I didn't pick them. The birds ate them all. The birds oh, got them. Because they got a foot of snow. The birds had any seeds or anything to eat. Cleaned it out. So 84 was actually our first vintage of ice wine. Then 1991 was when we won the Grand Prix de Nure and the world yeah, discovered that us. really set yes. things it on did. fire, didn't it? It, did. it was the French, you know, saying this is, in our opinion, the best dessert wine in the world. Mm -hmm. The Japanese picked up on it, and then the rest yeah. is history, as they said. And recently, uh, Inneskellen ice wine was served at the uh, Nobel yeah. Peace uh, cool? dinner with Barack Obama. Yeah. Yeah. That's Carl, quite something. Carl was just quoted as saying that he never would have, in, you know, a million years expected that his wine would be served at a Nobel Prize dinner. It was a 206, I think, that they chose. And the hotel Was it chose a Riesling it. or a Vidal? It was a Vidal. Mm -hmm. And it was chosen by the hotel. They had a pre-dinner. And I guess Debbie had to keep it a secret for like three or four months. Like nobody knew. I'd never heard until wow. the day it was released. Wow. So it was yeah, congratulations great honor for us. on that. That's and amazing. And especially because of Obama, because I think he's a very cool dude. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So, what do you think of the festival that's going on outside? I know we've come in warmed up a little yeah, bit, but you great. must be very proud. Yeah, that's great because people get an opportunity to experience the ice wine festival. It's not cold enough, unfortunately, so that it's not legitimately ice wine because it's only like five or so. So it's it should be. Enough for me. <laughs> I don't mind. All the grapes were picked. We couldn't find a place for with any grapes. Come they were down all to my backyard. I still get some, you know, because I always I learned one thing during the ice wine harvest. You never can know, right? Because you know, That's people true. would phone from Europe and Paris and LA and say we want to come and pick. Well, you know, we'll call you the night before when the temperature drops. <laughs> so they'd show up and okay. So I keep a little block that's called the media block. That's oh so smart. That. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. amazing. Because all you need is the snow, the temperature you can't tell on television, right? right? You can't tell what temperature it is here on television. <laughs> and so we leave a little bit and we go out there and I do the photo op and then I go off back skiing where I usually have no winter time. Yeah, you're always skiing. You're always <laughs> somewhere. We actually picked ice wine in the skill. We did. Do you we remember did. that? Do. And Suzanne yeah. sunk into celebrity the, uh, ice wine. That's right. The celebrity yeah. ice wine picking. Yeah. That's right. Now yeah. you've got a new venture that, that you've just introduced. Well, I'm, I'm helping a young man who's my, actually him and his dad were my vineyard manager and what they've done is they've done ice syrup cool. package mm -hmm. which has Sue Sir Lee's picture on the back because he's so excited about this and awesome. what this is it's kind of a ver let's call it a non-alcoholic version of ice wine because it's the ice juice mm -hmm. not fermented so it's yeah. not alcoholic and it's a very very thick very luscious uh, ice wine syrup Okay, mm. what would you use that for? Cooking, uh, okay. so you would put it on like uh, next weekend at the Niagara in the Lake Ice Wine Festival. We're going to pour it on top of the pancake or mm. waffles and pancakes we're going to make in the morning, and you can put it on ice cream. Uh, Susur has done an amazing number of dishes because you know in Asian uh, fusion cuisine there's a lot of very sweet yes. in the sauce, yeah, right. so he's using this. So it's mm. very cool. And as a sweetener in the, a sweetener, uh, in the yeah. recipes. Yeah. And you know, of course, there's no calories in that at no, all. No, 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 no. <laughs> Especially when you ate it with you know, pancakes and stuff. Of course not. Didn't they use reverse something to take out the calories? Reverse osmosis to take out the water and oh, the calories. Oh, with the water. Yeah. Oh, and the calories. There you go. OK. And That's brilliant. You, you know the little book I wrote where yes. I used Isabel Calabas' uh, menu, my chef? Yes. It referred to ice wine as the ingredient. So there's 20-some recipes. So oh. this would be a perfect. 
substitute awesome. for it because not that you should not use ice wine but this will now be nice. speaking mm -hmm. of ice wine you yeah. also have now introduced your own label oh, that's Zeraldo what that's what I was referring to but let, let's talk a little bit about yeah, I just, Zeraldo I just I, I couldn't stay away you know I, I left in a skillet mm -hmm. and I you know it didn't take me long to get sort of back in the game because <laughs> we're not surprised <laughs> <laughs> and, and whose wine is this again this oh is Zeraldo <laughs> So I, um, I, I, I took a little bit of uh, artistic license because, you know, I collect, you don't know, I collect Art Deco. That's been one of my hobbies. Yes. So I kind of use the Art Deco motif. And then the uh, other little medallion here, which is sort of Mother Nature picking grapes. And my, my lovely wife, Anna, helped me design the logo. And so we kind of, you know, try to... It all works. Splash. Well, I had to come back with a big splash. I couldn't just do it. <laughs> That's right. Well, let's taste the splash, shall okay. we? Is that um, what we have in our... Yeah, let's taste the splash, some, yes. uh, It's Riesling ice wine. Riesling 207 ice wine. 207 to Zeraldo. Yeah. Cheers.